Grüezi YouTubers. Here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. Several possibilities exist to measure altitude above sea level. The simplest and most used is to measure barometric pressure and calculate the altitude. This principle is widely used in aviation, but also in simple devices as bike computers. It uses the fact that pressure decreases with altitude. On sea level, the air pressure is much higher than on the Mount Everest. This is the reason why airplanes need pressurized cabins. We can use this circumstance to determine altitude. The principle is always the same. Use a reference, either a pressure reference or an altitude reference, Measure the actual pressure and calculate by some mathematical expression the difference between the reference and the actual position. In aviation, the pressure at sea level is often used as a reference. And because pressure at sea level changes with weather conditions, it is regularly measured and communicated to the pilots. They enter it into their altimeters and from then on, the meters show altitude above sea level. The shown altitude is not very precise, but because all pilots use the same reference, they are at least all the same wrong. The altimeters in bike computers use the other reference method. You enter your actual altitude and the bike computer calculates from there. Both methods should give the same results. In the early days, the altimeters were mechanical and quite big and very expensive. Today, they are small chips. But how exact do they measure? In this video, I compare three generations of pressure sensors from Bosch. The BMP085, the BMP180, and the newest, the BME 280. Because I want to use such a sensor for my bike power meter, the precision has to be very high. I start the tests with keeping the devices on my lap bench and lock the readings. The sensors are read with the readily available libraries. Because the sensors were not moved, we would expect a stable altitude reading, at least over a short time of some minutes. I measured every 500 milliseconds and stored it in an Excel sheet. The formulas to calculate altitude are quite heavy and precision matters. This is why I use for my first tests an Arduino Due. It has a 32-bit CPU and can handle 64-bit double precision numbers. So, no important errors are made due to calculation. To avoid the influence of natural pressure change, I took the average of uh, the last 10 readings and compared the current uh, reading with this average. The result of 1000 readings are displayed in the next three charts. Let's begin with the old BMP085. The sensor is quite big, not compared with the old mechanical altimeters, but compared with the later generations of the same chip. As expected, the readings are somehow stochastic. Because the chart shows the absolute values of deviations, you find only positive values. The biggest deviations are around 50 cm and the average difference is 18 cm, which is quite surprising if you take into account that the module is so small and costed only a few cents. The next device is the BMP180. This sensor is already smaller, but is it also better? According the data sheet, it should be slightly better. The results show a slightly different pattern. 
It has more big deviations than the BMP085 and the other readings are a little more precise. But overall it has the same average value of 18 centimeters. The BMP180 replaced the BMP085 in most applications and is widely available. The newest sensor from Bosch, the BME280, is not yet widely used. It is also about 10 times more expensive than the BMP180. The datasheet says that it should be more precise. But is this real? Here are the results. The readings of the BME280 are clearly more precise. The average difference is only 6 cm and most values are in the 10 cm range. But it has from time to time some brain failure where it is 50 cm wrong. I did not investigate too much in this effect and because I only have one sensor I cannot say if this is a particular behavior or if it is similar for all sensors. But now I want to test it in reality. I connected it with my prototype of the bicycle power meter which uses a Maple Mini with a 30-bit CPU. It should also have no problems with calculation precision. I start the test in my lab and move up the stairs to the first floor. The height should be 2 meters 80. The reading is really precise. Now I move to the next floor. The height here should be 2 times 2 meter 80 which is 5 meter 60. Here the reading is 20 centimeters off. Now up to the third floor. The height here should be 8 meters 40 and the reading is 40 centimeters off. This is 5%. I tried it several times and the differences were always similar. In a later stage I will put it in a vehicle and drive up several hundred meters and compare the readings with the real altitude to check if there are linear errors in the calculations. You see, the GPS sensor is already on the breadboard. My conclusion, if you are interested in measuring exact altitudes, the BME 280 is worth its money, compared with its predecessors. If it is worth the money compared with the GPS sensor, will be checked in a later episode. If you subscribe to the channel, you are automatically informed when it is ready. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. Bye.